This week we're in Salt Lake City, Utah, and in American Rifleman First, we're visiting a coffee maker, Black Rifle Coffee Company. But there's a lot more going on here than just roasting some beans. This is a community of veteran entrepreneurs dedicated to providing conservative America products that they can get behind. The ultimate goal for Black Rifle, and it still stands today in our mission statement, is to have a quality coffee and give a conservative option to the consumer base. I think we see too much that uh, corporate entities have an approach that's anti-gun and things like that, and we want to stay true to the values of who we are, you know, patriots, uh, supporters of the Second Amendment, and people that believe in a quality product. And I mean, who doesn't like coffee? It brings everybody together. <laughs> Black Rifle Coffee, we started literally on the, the range, I guess you could say. So I started roasting coffee about 10 years ago in a little one pound roaster. And I was teaching uh, advanced tactics and carbine. I was also deploying back and forth to places like Iraq and Afghanistan. I started roasting coffee and pulling shots of espresso just to kind of break the monotony of deployments and to concentrate on something a little bit different. And uh, I met with uh, Article 15 Clothing, Matt Best and Jared Taylor, started Freedom Roast for Art 15, and then a few months later, Black Rifle Coffee was born. Black Rifle Coffee has become our vehicle to reach the most amount of veterans that that want to work with us or veterans that want to start their own businesses. You know, as we analyzed our other companies and as we grew and Black Rifle Coffee experienced exponential growth, we saw this is where this is where all our efforts should be put because this is where we can make the most impact. And now today, um, you know, we're almost at over 100 employees. The majority of the executive office here um, at Black Rifle is about 70%, if not more, um, combat veterans. And so it's a really cool environment. And throughout well over a decade of war, there are so many men and women that have sacrificed life, limb, everything. They gave their whole early 20s, their adolescence was devoted to be defending this country. And then I think too often, general society, when they get out, wants to paint the word veteran in a negative light. Um, and that condemnation does not exist here at Black Rifle. We believe that the term veteran needs to represent successful and empowering what that individual is, not the opposite. It's fitting that we end up out here at the range because guns, the Second Amendment, that's a big part of our culture. Yeah, I truly believe that it's in uh, the heart and soul of what our brand is, is to support the Constitution and bring back what the American patriot used to be. You know, in contemporary society, we see a lot of issues with uh, supporting the red, white, and blue and the American flag, that it's almost outcast and you get ostracized for those beliefs. So as long as we can bring back what the American man used to be and woman and support, you know, being responsible for your own safety, then it's a win-win across the board, civilian and veterans alike. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.